Hello, everybody. So um, today I sort of want to talk about sort of thermal in terms of math. Um, so you're probably sick and tired of hearing this fundamental equation. But I can say that du combining the first and second laws is equal to P, I mean, TDS minus PDV, right? That being said, because I have a DS here and a DV here, I can say that U is a function of S and V in this, okay? So that being said, um, I can say that DU, the whole derivative of U, is equal to del U, del S, at constant V, I'll just say this, plus del u del v at constant s. Now that being said, what do you think this term is equal to? If I sort of mirror what I wrote here, I can say that del u del s, oops, del u del s at constant v is equal to TDS. Now, what am I doing with this? I have no idea. But what I'm just trying to get you to see is that we can apply the same rules that we know for derivatives and calculus and everything to this equation, to this equation. Um, likewise, this is equal to this. So del u, del v, a constant. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Del u, del s, a constant v is simply equal to t. It's not equal to TDS. Um, that's because I have to multiply this by DS. Okay, let me go ahead and just rewrite the whole thing. Um, you see, you can't sort of like, it's sort of, you just have to sort of use logic. Like, see how I caught myself? This is why like intuition is sort of better than memorizing. Because when you have a derivative, right? I can say that my partial U with respect to partial s at constant v, right? I have to have like a, a, a derivative term at the end. So I have to say times ds. Cool. Now, I can say plus del u, let me go ahead and erase this, plus del u, del v at constant s. Then I have to have my derivative term at the end dv so now right this right here i have my ds here i have my dv here this term right here is equal to t simply right and this term right here that has to be equal to negative p so del u del v at constant s is equal to negative p um I'll give you a problem in, in which I sort of do something like this, but basically, um, if they asked you to find maybe something like, I don't know, um, I'll set up a problem and you'll sort of see where I'm coming from. But basically, if they ask you for these questions, this is all you have to do, basically. Um, U is a function of S and V, why? Because DS and DV are apparent. I get my T and never forget your negative, please. Um, try as much as possible not to do that. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's all you got to do. So, um, keep tuning in. I'll add some example questions on this. And if you didn't understand anything I did, please feel free to ask questions in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's keep learning thermal. Thank you.